Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it and the whiskey that makes the music sound better. I'm Josh, and today I'm reviewing 72, a whiskey from Texas made from a mash of 80% white corn and 20% rye, and an alcohol by volume of 40%. I encountered this whiskey out in the wild while at Taberna Costera for a live show. You can check out that video here. I tried the small batch straight bourbon from 72 on the advice of my bartender, Sean. I always enjoy discovering new whiskeys this way, and I highly recommend it if you're stuck for what to drink. Put out by Appalachian Ventures, a company also known for their award-winning wines, this whiskey has a history steeped in 35 years of knowledge combined with a personal touch we'll hear about later in this video. If you're new here, welcome to the party! This channel covers all sorts of things related to local music, including the whiskeys that make it sound better. Please consider subscribing down there, and if you have any suggestions or reactions of your own to new whiskeys, shout it out in the comments section. Now strap in kiddos, this one's got some high points, some low points, and everything in between. You're in for a treat very soon. My whiskey review partner, Sean Flume, and I have a new patron-only audio podcast called Two Brains, One Bottle, where we try to figure life out one drink at a time. We share a bottle we've recently reviewed and talk about whatever we feel like for about an hour. It's unfiltered, it's unedited, and it's fun. We cover a lot of topics, including weird local and national news, terrible dad jokes, stories from our past, gaming comics, and more. We also tackle at least one listener question and try our best to be helpful. If that sounds worth spending an hour of your time on, please consider becoming a patron. Any tier patron will have access to the podcast starting at a dollar a month. Plus, you get other great perks. Not bad for a buck a month. I'd buy that for a dollar. You're amazing. Keep on doing what you're doing. Please, please feel free to spread the love. Remember to be amazing. And we'll see you next time in Room 6. The story of 72 Whiskey, unfortunately, begins in tragedy. On August 13, 2006, the son of the company's chairman passed away in his sleep at the age of 29. Having shared a passion for high-quality bourbon with his son, it seemed a fitting tribute to craft and name a whiskey after his football jersey number, 72. Hearing the story behind this whiskey while I began my tasting, it drove home what a personal connection people can have with their favorite drink. With that said, let's get on to the review. The first thing I noticed was a slight cloudiness to its amber color that stems from non-chill filtering. Also known as chill flock, these fatty acids, esters, and proteins are quickly becoming the preferred method that ensures original flavors haven't been stripped away. On the nose, I picked up aromas of cedar, grilled apples, caramel candies, bread and butter pickles, and chestnut honey. On the tongue, I got some sandalwood, carob, spiced raisins, and dried banana. The finish was velvety and smooth, making one want to go back in for more. Overall, 72 Whiskey is a great bourbon for cocktails, neat, or on the rocks. Its spiced woodiness makes it a great addition to your collection. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'd love to hear your comments about what you think of 72 Whiskey. In the meantime, if you'd like to be on the channel, whether reviewed or interviewed as a musician, or if you just have suggestions of your own, feel free to hit me up by clicking the link down in the description. If you want to support the channel, there's also ways to do that there as well. In the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up in that corner, and if you want to subscribe to the channel, really appreciate it, please click down there and don't forget to ring the bell. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.